This is a dangerous girl because every drug dealer on the island wants to keep her out of jail so they can get high. They got her on Richard Street as her car. Beth, we're going down the alleyway. When she comes to her car, we take her out right there. Oh my God, there. Watch out for cars. Hey! Check out the SWAT team. Today's career day, it's mostly law enforcement that's all here today. I mean, these are our big brothers. Everybody heard of the Coast Guard before? Yes. Because of our uniforms and the little gadgets that we have, these kids are just eating it up. OK, listen, here, let Uncle Don talk. Now, you know what today is, right? Career day. Career day, so that you can decide right now at this age what you want to be when you grow up. Now listen, I met this guy one time and he came to me on career day and he said, dog, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, I want to be a police officer. And he said, if you have a goal and you strive to be that, someday you will. And here we stand, not police officers, but we're on the same totem pole as the police officers. We're bounty hunters. Go ahead, son. I have been in this business for almost 30 years. That's older than your moms and dads, right? Not my mom. <laughs> We've caught over 6,500 criminals in 30 years. Let me tell you one last thing. All people have asked me this, OK? Uncle Dog, what has made you successful? One thing that all of us live by, it's such a good rule that it's called the golden rule. And who knows the golden rule? Let me hear it out loud. Go ahead, start. Treat people uh, the way you want to be treated. Now, isn't that amazing? Dog, what is your success? Why do you do what you do? Because I try to live by the golden rule. So what are you taking away from us? The golden rule? And be in law enforcement when you grow up. OK? Thank you, kids, very much. Thank you. This is kind of work my dad loves the best. That's Tommy's boy. No, he fits right at home here, talking to the kids. Bye, bye, little honey, bye. I'm not new at bounty hunting, but I'm new at this. It's a great feeling. Oh. Boom, that's very good, yay. Looks like they're going to take the helicopter back. Look, they're starting up. Hey, I got to go. He's suiting up already. We got to. But listen, I've got a girl that I'm chasing. If you'll, we can get together, because I think yeah, you're chasing one of her boyfriends. Come over there thank you, sir. Thank you for everything, okay, okay? Thank you, brother, very much. See you later. Listen, thank you, take thank you. Care. OK. Yeah. They're going to take off. Let's watch. Oh, are they? Yeah. Tommy Caetano is DEA and Honolulu Sheriff's Department, one of the elite of all. I need his help to help me catch this person. Thumbs up. If you're going to be a bounty hunter, you better have Big Brother, and you better be in good terms. Because if you don't have law enforcement on your side, you better retire and go be an insurance salesman, because it's just not going to work. So let's switch gears to our hunt mode. OK, so the next one is Un Me Her, also known as Mia. What I have heard through my sources is she's a big fish, OK? This is just not like a Waianae girl or a Honolulu girl. This girl's everywhere. The reason she's everywhere is she's the big dealer, OK? So Tim, will you look through the file? Give me particulars. Let's put her on the board. What's her physical? Five foot four. Five four. 125. 125. She lists a car. Do you want that? Yeah, what's kind of auto? Red Infinity. Red Infinity, right. With black rims. 
Okay, so that's not a lot, but at least it's a hint, or it's a lead or a clue. Now, Leland, pull her criminal history. What do we bond her out for? Promotion of a dangerous drug in the second degree. Second, okay, which is a more than likely ICE. Yep. She also got charged with drug paraphernalia. And her new warrant is 30000 The new warrant's thirty. Yep. Okay. She put down CNC theft and abuse 01, theft in the second. So not too bad of a record, but well known in the drug community as a dealer. So this girl's going to be hard to find because every drug dealer on the island wants to keep her out of jail so they can get high. Okay, now let's get into the co-center. What's his name? Wendell Parker. Okay, Wendell Parker, I happen to know, is probably one of the most dangerous fools on this island, okay? Everywhere Wendell goes, he carries a pistol. Are they boyfriend, girlfriend, or just friends? They're friends. I think Wendell's maybe her muscle. I mean, you don't even want to pull Wendell Parker's record because it's too long to even show. Now, here's what happened with me. I called him up. I said, now, Wendell, you're my co-signer, and I know you're going to need me in the future. Your job is to find Mia. He said, I'll have her in a couple days. Here's another thing. I hear from the grapevine, Wendell's wanted big time is one of Hawaii's most wanted. So we're going to need Tommy on this one, okay? Yeah. Tommy Caetano is a pure, dedicated, 25-year cop. He's going to help us. Hello. Yay. Hey. What's up, brother? What's up, brother, sir? Thank you for having us out there, brother. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. I held you, my really, boy. Really Good to see you. Yeah, you didn't see him, Tim. You know Leland. You saw him this morning. Oh. Dwayne Lee. Oh, yeah. So uh, what we have is we're chasing the kind. Unia Her. She's known as Mia, right? Now, here's why I'm asking you. Wendell Parker, does that ring a bell? Yeah. How come your eyes turned to fire? <laughs> w Wendell Parker co-signed for my girl, okay? Both of them are going to be together. That's what I was going to say. Or he knows right where she's at. I can coordinate with the team that has Parker's arrest warrant in it. And okay. that's with the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force here in Hawaii. So I'm asking you, will you meet me out there so we can take both of them down either together or we'll back off and please get my girl if I can get your guy? Yeah, and I'll let my guys know what information you guys got. Now tell them the guys in black are not the criminals. That's the good guys. <laughs> All right. Sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank right. you, Tommy. Thank you. God bless. Thanks thank for you, today, thank, thank you. See you. Aloha. I've known Dwayne since 1988. There have been times where he's called me, we've exchanged information, the same as I, I have called him. He's a good guy. We need Tommy on this one, we're gonna ask for help, we're gonna get it, and I guarantee we're gonna catch both these people. Today, we're on the chase for Mia. This girl is big in the drug world. The FBI is looking for her. If there was such a thing as a criminal college, she'd have a master's degree. She has a lot of friends, so it's going to be hard to find her. As soon as she finds out we're looking, there's a problem. OK, this is Tommy. Yes, sir, hi. Oh, is that right? Did you guys get Mia, too? Oh, OK. Thank you, Tommy. OK, bye. I'll be damned. So, uh, Jesus, uh, here's what happened. The cops pulled over Mia. She was driving. Inside the car was Wendell. They walked up to the car. What's your name? He gives him a fake name. They ID him from another cop. Blam, it's Wendell most wanted. They're busy putting him under arrest. They go to get her. She drives away. She oh, got away. my God. They, like, got the number one wanted. They can't go after her, right? She's like, I'm digging out. So she got away. <laughs> yeah, that's Daryl. She got away. Go, bitch. Run, baby. <laughs> they missed her. Good. So Wendell says to the cops, call dog right now and tell him get to the game room. She's by the game room. She's by the game room. OK? I think we need to set some kind of surveillance up there and watch, because she's going to show up. So let's go over there. We don't need our suits on. Let's get her. Yes, sir. She parked the car on Richard Street. Okay, I'm going right now. Okay, listen, that's my friend, okay? 
We just got a tip that on Richard Street is her car. Let's suit up right now and go. Uh, yeah, the heat is on. This girl we're looking for, Mia, is actually parked right down the street from here. Instead of going to this other place non-aggressively, now we got to switch into aggression now and go get this girl. Dwayne Leland. Come on, we got to go, Let's guys. go. OK, let's say a prayer real quick for this girl. Okay, Lord, thank you for this day. We're going after a big one right now, Lord. Protect us with Mia. Let us get complete police cooperation and let our light shine. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Get ready. Yep. Okay, let's rock and roll. Yeah. 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 You got a young one? Beth, we're going down the alleyway, go down the Richards and take a left. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Can we see our car anywhere? Okay. What do you want me to do? Do I pull up right here? Okay, do you see the car? This red infinity. It. Black red. It says Mia right on back of that windshield. Do not pull up there. We have to park, and when she comes to her car, we take her out right there. They have no idea which building she's in, anything about it, but that is her car. Over. Get for it. I'm parking right here. Okay, this is perfect. Let's go in there and sit and wait. Hey, excuse me. Okay, listen, hey. we have an emergency, okay? Okay, see that that red car right back there? Okay, we're That's following we're that red at. car. So we so need to be able to get right out of the parking lot right when they come out. But I'll still gladly pay you for the parking lot. Okay, park right over, over here. It's okay. Thank you. This is such a huge case that everybody's looking. At any second, any moment, she's going to come. We cannot let her start that car. we got to get her before she gets in. Her car it matches the description. Not only that, but she wrote her own name on the back windshield. She could be anywhere. One thing is for sure, though, she's gonna come back and get her car. Best you're ready to block her off, right? I'm ready to ram her. It's like that roller coaster ride. Can you hear that click, 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 click? We're on our way to the top. Got the butterflies in the stomach. I'm so anxious. Uh-oh, because who's that? What's up, guys? Somebody's walking. That's not her. If that bitch gets in that car and starts that car, we've got to go through the glass. Do not let her start it. Tim, please get your binoculars out where you can see a tick on a hound's ass. I can only look from right here to here, and I can see her. Yeah, but can you see? I want you to really see her face good. OK, heads up, guys. Is that her, Tim? Is that her? Where? Is that her, young blood? Wait a minute, is that her? Is that her? What's your name? What's your name? Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Get her, Bethy. Search her good. Mia, now's your chance. You got anything else on you that you don't want to be in jail with? Give me your purse. Okay, leave her right there. Okay, where's your dope at? The dope in the pipe? There's no dope in the pipe. There's no dope. Okay, where's your dope at then, Mia? I don't have any dope. Okay, dope let's pick her up so I can check the rest of her. Okay. Nice head tramp. 
You know, you sell that dope, you're killing people here. You don't give a damn, do you? Just in a day's work to you. So this is in a day's work to us. We'll search her again. Both pockets. She has nothing on her. Okay. The FBI wants to talk to you, ma'am. If you got anything to say, you better be the one first to rap. When they start talking to you, Mia, this is how the game plays. The first one to talk walks. If you want to be a tough girl and not say nothing, you're going to spend 10 years in prison. Or you can make a deal for yourself and get out of here. Do you understand that? It's all up to you. Who's the guy in the car here? That's my boyfriend, passed away this morning. What? From what? He's in high school, too. What? Yeah. You like gangsters, huh? Yeah. I know. You see who I married? Yeah. Gangsta. You just got to find a nice gangsta with a really kind heart. OK, we're ready? Yeah. OK, let's load her up. We're taking her back to the office because uh, there's some undercover FBI agents that are going to pick her up and our friend Tommy Caetano. Go ahead, Mia. How bad are you on ice? Like you got to have it to work and live and eat and all that? Are you hooked? No. Can you get off of it? sit over here on the couch, huh? She's a little tough, you know. She's a little gangster. She's, like, not going to say nothing. But the more police show up and the more time goes, the more her lips are going to start loosening up. So now tell me about your guy, the one that died. Is that your love? Yeah. Is that the ring? Your little soulmate? What did he do? We was running it together, but... The dope? Yeah, but he... He's a good person. What brought you into that? I use it because I'm kind of pain, yeah. Who'd you have pain from? Childhood. Where's your mom? You don't know? Did she leave you? She did? Mm -hmm. I just lived with my dad until I was 16, but he was very abusive. So. Cigarette. Do you have any kids? Yeah. Where are they at? My family. I know it's better that I'm not with them. Is it a boy and a girl? Girl, two girls. Two girls? Now, how old were you when your mom ran? Five. And you remember that, right? At five years old, do you really remember the day that you woke up, mommy wasn't home? Yeah. You remember the feeling how you felt? Now, your little girls are doing that. Because the little girls are going to bed every night who they call them mommy. It's like a curse that goes from generation to generation. Yeah. You're a tough woman. And the tears are real because they're tears of love. Mia, honey, use this. Say, you know, that day that I did it, that's it for me. No more ice. I'm going to get back with my kids. I'm going to try to do If you try, honey. I stopped before. I... I went to treatment because I was trying to stop. You're young enough to start all over. Do you, do you realize that? And the main thing is you're too pretty to be a criminal, honey. You're too fine to be a criminal. Criminals ain't that fine. Listen, Mia, look in my eyes. Life is not over. Work with whoever you can work with. You have a good chance right now of getting out of all of this. OK? Opportunities, right? You want to take that pipe and go smash it? Okay, come on. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to let you take it and you drop it down there. Stomp on that puppy. Yucko. But listen, really, honestly, the best way to quit dope is to burn all those bridges. The good news is they'll never want to do dope with you again. Right? Yeah. Well, let's get you ready. Good for you. Yeah. Hey, it's a 
Tuesday? Tommy, Tommy came back to the office. He's going to talk to her. Tommy's a very good cop. He'll give her some more encouragement. She's dealing with a lot of huge players in Hawaii right now. She's very pretty. She's like their pawn. They're using her. So I think once she realizes that, I think she'll open up. Appreciate thank you. you thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Be safe. Hey, you ready, sister? Let's go. Okay. Thank you, sir. We're not in the business to lock them all away and throw away the key. And Tommy Caetano's like that, too. So good thing we found us a cop with a heart. Hi, Miss Mia. Hi. Follow me to the um, federal building. Again. Thank you. Do the right thing now, love. Okay? See you later. Bye, buddy. Thanks. I don't know what will happen next for her. I hope she's at the beginning of her road and not at the end of her road. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Tommy. Stay alive. Thank you. This girl has a chance in life. She needs to take advantage of that and use it and go on.